In health news tonight, the latest in total shoulder replacement for patients with severe arthritis. There is a clinical trial now underway at Yale. News 8 medical reporter Jocelyn Mementa is here with more on this. Sonia Darren, the first patient had surgery today. The biggest benefit, it is a less invasive procedure and should restore shoulder rotation to nearly normal. Benjamin Chanfiki is in with his wife getting last minute instructions for his total shoulder replacement surgery. And I'm actually bone on bone. Uh, with no cartilage. Arthritis is to blame. This is as far as I can go with both arms. Benjamin is now the first patient to get the latest state-of-the-art solution through an FDA-approved study at Yale. I didn't expect to be a celebrity, a surgical celebrity. <laughs> Principal investigator and orthopedic surgeon Dr. Theodore Blaine. Typically we make an incision uh, about here and then coming down to about that level. We'll insert a much smaller prosthesis. Rather than replace it with a big stem down the center of the bone, have a very small uh, little nucleus wow. uh, up in here. It's the simplicity nucleus. We see this small metal component that goes into the bone. Uh, so this particular design implant is a very small size uh, implant preserves and conserves the bone so that if we need to do other operations in the future, we'll be able to do that. The nearly two-hour surgery... So we remove this ball uh, because this is where the bad cartilage is. ...will enable Dr. Blaine to size and insert the implant. We can see again how very little of the bone uh, we've had to remove uh, in the humerus to do this replacement. The goal is to restore Benjamin's left shoulder back to normal as possible. Well, for me, just to be able to get range of motion back to do things uh, in my business, which is baking and rolling out uh, products and of that nature. But there are people who will not benefit. Uh, and those are patients who have very poor bone quality. Because this is a smaller size implant, it really needs to have good bone quality to insert into uh, to have a stable fixation. I checked in to see how the surgery went today for Benjamin, and I'm told that it went well and he should be discharged tomorrow. If all goes well, he will eventually have his right shoulder done as well. For more information about the clinical study, log on to WTNH.com.